computer. I won that match. I spent the entire match just vlogging. Damn right. Yeah. You having fun? Yeah. Guess I'm crushing you. <laughs> That's what it is, but I just had to beat her through legitimate means. It was like left, left square, left, left back, so it's like not really. It's I didn't want to spam just one move because I was going to leave that to her. <laughs> what? It didn't work! What's going on? Oh no, they changed the roster. Worst Mortal Kombat, they changed Blue King's moves. Ooh. There's seriously something up with this. Careful, she's gonna try the spinny blade thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, that's some shit. <laughs> okay, now she goes to the move list. <laughs> now she goes to the... And <laughs> then okay, she goes for the physical assault. How's it feel? Good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is your true test. If Wait. You can get... <laughs> Don't get her get too close. She'll juggle you with speedy swords. Unless she gets it confused with the uppercut from Sub Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Like something you can just how shake off. Still alive? <laughs> what I like is how those X-ray moves are actually more brutal than the fatalities. Oh, I don't have that move anymore. Oh, oh.
I did not know that about the blue. Okay. You can hit with just one with one if you need also. Time to eat some awesome Chinese food <laughs> with a nice view. You said it tastes the same, she even noticed the Get laid by. Yeah, he was pointing at the trash can. He's like, Mom, this is where you're hugging. And Mom and Dad don't care. They're just hugging one another. Kid is now gone. There is a toothpick here, by the way. Yeah, that would be terrible to bite into. It helps keep it together. Um, it'll be interesting because they did uh, ca uh, cast a, is it vicious? So that was definitely, so they. I haven't heard about I think they cast Julia too, so I'm wondering if they may end up doing some prequel stuff, uh, which would be fascinating to find out about. Uh, it was the Red Dragons, wasn't it? The uh, the uh, the mob or the gang that he was in. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. It's been a while since I've seen it. So Spike far. died in the end of Cowboy Bebop. Spoiler. <laughs> he did. <laughs> but it was not that big death. It was amazing. So why would you want to? Why go beyond that? There's some, I always feel like there's some stories that's just like, just right. leave it alone, you know? Just leave it alone. What it was, was this perfect thing. And we got a movie out of it, and you would have gotten a video game. We actually did record uh, the opening sequence of a video game, but apparently the, um, the, uh, the playing, the, the software, just they couldn't get it right, so they abandoned it. Oh. But I still have a lot about it. Exact what they did, like I hope they just don't, tell the story that the series did. I'm hoping that it'll be something like it, but not in a way, make it their own. Hi, how are you doing? So, as a director, how much flexibility do your actors have when it comes to improvising from what's in the script? Do you want like a line for line, word for word, word reading, or do you give them that flexibility to just what become I'll the character? What I'll do is, normally we'll do, uh, 
an A, B, and a C take. So uh, I'll say, give me three in a row. And uh, for instance, with Star Wars Resistance, Josh Brenner, who is on Silicon Valley and plays Big Head, he's a genius at improv. So he plays this very innocent and exciting character called Miku. And oh my goodness, Kaz, isn't that wonderful? You know, so I'll say, give me two uh, as written so that we have options because a lot of the time, if it's written well, every line pushes the story forward. But if an actor is really good at improv and can continue to push the story forward, but improvise something that we didn't think about, something new, something that would make it even more specific to what they bring to the character, I'm all for it, always, especially if they're good at it. Zachary Levi, for instance, in uh, Tangled. Genius improviser, and he completely lifts the dialogue off the page and makes it his own. Again, it depends on the producer. So a lot of the times, well, why don't we try this? So let's tweak a line so that we always get it as written. If that's what they want, you have to have it as written. We got it. But then we also have this little gem that is something you didn't expect, something that still pushes the plot forward in the way that you want it to, but it's so funny, or it's so moving, or it's so Eugene, you know what I mean? So I'm uh, all for actors bringing something to the table that we didn't expect. That's we did it like this, and at that point it's just like, I, I have no creative input in this. And it's important that the actors do feel that way. At least for me. Hello. 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 Yeah. Oh, sorry. I don't know. I don't know. I Oh, you got that. Yes. Oh, no. Sorry. Uh, anyway, I got it. Yeah, I got it. I know. Could have both of them. A R A Y E. Yes. 